Okay, so we saw the pellets went through this can and went through all the plastic toys and came out the back. Obviously, kill a squirrel, which we have done. But how much power does it really have? Depends on the pellets. Some turn into mushroom. Sun is for penetrating. And sometimes I believe the pellets just went right through the squirrel and punch a hole. It didn't even get a chance to mushroom up. It has to slow down enough. So the first test we prove there's a lot of power even at 21 yards, which is 67 feet to punch through this tin can. That is incredible. What about a frying pan? Frying pan is not much thicker than the tin can, but it is reinforced and forged. A little thicker, more flexible. So let's see how this do. We just have to hit it anywhere to see if we punch a hole through it. Okay, as for penetration power, we're going to use the Luxor, which is the diamond shape, pyramid shape tip. And it's lead free. And let's see how this do. This is 9.9 .9 grand, I believe. Yeah, 9.9 .9 grand. So let's try the hardest first. And somehow we're running into a dilemma. There is a squirrel just happened to come in too close to our target. This might have to turn into a squirrel hunting video. Instead. So there he is. Sight it in. It's coming.
Okay, let's get back to our done video. That was a great surprise. Let's see if we can get this thing. Sighting the laser. Okay. Let's wait for it right in the middle. So we can make a gun and it penetrate through it. Well, that was loud. What the? F it bounced back and hit something. It bounced back. It hit the gun and it bounced back. It probably hit one of my neighbor's house. Put a huge dent to it. Didn't penetrate. And it bounced back. Most likely bounced back to the house directly. Holy crap. That was loud. Okay, I don't think anything else is gonna penetrate. If it bounced back like that. Yeah, it's not gonna penetrate. So the one shoot penetrate didn't penetrate. Maybe the metal tip hornet can do it, but I might have to wait because that round just bounced back. Most likely, it did not shatter because it's not lead and just bounced right back. So it went 21 yards there and 21 yards back. Either hit my house or one of our neighbor's house. I can hear the rebound pretty good. That was insane. But we're 90 degree hitting it. So the chance of this bounce anywhere else but straight back to this house is more likely. And then we're shooting at an upper angle means it will hit and fly up, bounce upwards, and land in one of the yeah, one of the facade. 